are so many haunted locations in New York that it's hard to keep track of them all. Accompanied only by a camera, I'm trying to get to as many as I can. Join me in my adventures into New York's most beautiful and most terrifying paranormal spots. The Manhorn Mansion may just be my favorite haunted place that I have ever been to. Built in 1823, this mansion housed generations of the Van Horn family. In 1837, a woman named Melinda Niles Van Horn died in the house at the age of 21. Most think she died of childbirth, but no one's really sure because the death certificate didn't say. Her husband, James, is buried down the road from her in a local cemetery. Her grave is the only one still back there. Somewhere along the way, her grave got broken and put in the carriage house for safekeeping. When the new owners bought the house from the Van Horns, they didn't know she was buried in the backyard, so they relocated all of the other graves, but not hers. Eventually, they found the stone in the carriage house and reunited her grave with her body. When I went on a ghost hunt there a couple of years ago, one of the main reports I heard was that people had seen her running out of the house and into the road making cars stop. Doors open and close by themselves, and there's reports of the smell of tobacco in the tobacco room. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't go. What? Yeah. Okay, I'm big brain. Now? I'm big brain. Dreams are all big brain. Okay. Ooh, um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Most think she.